Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is a little bit of an astro alert. Saturn right now is squaring Pluto. That means a lot of fear and a lot of karma. And we've created a special series called Astro Extra, Saturn in Libra. Now, it's not free. We do charge for this, but it's over an hour video explaining where you are with Saturn, explaining what this is about, explaining the next full year, and explaining the tension you might be feeling right now. So if you're interested, come on down to soulground.tv, click on Soul Mart, and then Saturn Astro Extra. See you there. Hello, my heroes, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, sunny, philosophical, spaced out, self-reflective today. The moon is in Sagittarius again. So you're doing a lot of emotional exploring. This is the time where I kind of wander around the house. I'm like, I wonder this. I wonder that. What if this would happen? Why did that happen? It's philosophical, usually about your life and usually what you lived in the last 30 days. So today's a day really kind of just wandering, thinking, learning, etc., and being philosophical about the what ifs. You might find yourself wanting to learn something today, bearing your nose in a book or kind of diving into a new subject matter or exploring the possibilities of a trip or educational plans. Zimin the sun, there's no ruling planet today and we are entering into chapter three of Sun and Libra. Hallelujah. Now when there's no ruling planet, it's time to hold space. So yesterday I said, let's take some action when it came to where you want or what you want out of long-term relationships. Hopefully you took that action and today you're kind of just holding space, seeing how you feel, seeing how they feel, seeing how it really is, and walking the planet and just kind of owning where you are so far in your relationships. This is the assessment day. We are reassessing here as we begin chapter three of what you've learned, what you've developed so far, and where you want to go and where you want to grow. And I also talk about today, Jupiter. Jupiter is showing it's time to listen. What do I mean by that? Well. Jupiter retrograde in Pisces, which will only be retrograde until mid-November, is saying you really should listen to your higher self. You really should pay attention to the patterns you've lived in your life so far. This especially plays out for long-term relationships. And above all, you should have faith in yourself right now. This is a time of having faith. So right now, if you're torn between what your gut is telling you or something's a nagging voice on the inside and something going on in the outer world, Jupiter says, oh boy, listen to your inside, listen to your instincts right now. It's very important. Your guides are trying to get to you. And it's Tuesday. We have a new episode of Just Ask Us, storing practical sense, Lauren Serafan and intuitive Angelo Eros answering your questions on camera together. You might have sent in your question. They may have answered it. Either way, it's provocative and entertaining. Don't miss it. It is live everywhere. Soul Garden Blooms. All right, Aries, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow we get started with Chapter 3. All that and more in 24. Live, love, be. So